Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Today, we have another Chili DeCaren video where he attempts to audit a courthouse and file a complaint, but gets immediately denied. So let's begin. Me up. My name. What's that? What's that? Right, but, but, but I'm known across the country. Like, I travel the country doing this. So. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, and, and you notice I'm not putting you on camera and calling and saying, you know, look at her, you know, I don't do that. What I'm, what I'm trying to do here is to explain to you that you, you can't force me to violate my rights, but if you force me to. Well, I'm not going to force you to. If you fail to give me it, I just can't, I just can't let you go up in the building. Then you have to call the police. You have to call. I can call up there and let you know that you're down here. You, you're, so you're, you're, you're welcome. Yes. That's fine. But I cannot let you go up the elevator because that's company policy, and I don't want to lose my job. But, but see, company policy in a, in, a, in, a, in a publicly funded building, that doesn't end my rights. My rights don't come to an end so because, you're right. You're and, about that one. and and you notice how nice I am to you? Like I'm, you're, you seem like a nice person. You don't understand because no one told you, no one actually educated you and said to you, you can't make me give you my identification to come and file a complaint with a state funded or a federally funded apparatus. I find it funny how one man can know everything about nothing and nothing about everything at the same time. Because no, it's not a violation of your civil rights to be asked to show ID or sign in to access the private areas of a state or federal building. Now I want you guys to pay attention to the next part, especially those of you that are hate watching this video and follow Chili, because this is the real Chili, and pay attention to how he treats the people who support him. But you can go ahead and call them because I don't have to give you my identification to enter this building. No problem. I can call the federal affairs for you without any issues. Thanks. Also, the court is here to see today. She left at three. If you do me a favor and talk as little as you possibly can, yeah. don't. It, it, it won't. It won't help us. No. It won't help us. I know. It, but what I'm saying is, is if we talk to these cops, if you say zero words. It'll be better for us because because I'm gonna I'm gonna twist them and make their brains so that they. But if you say anything, then what happens is is they start thinking about other things. And what I'm trying to do is put them in a corner so that we can sue them. Absolutely, you That's, steer them. Right, yep. steer them into saying that I have to give ID to enter into a state-funded building. And then what I do is as soon as they say that out loud, boom, civil rights lawsuit. I'm, I'm gonna help you file a civil rights lawsuit. Oh, how sweet. He tells his little cockroach that's following him to shut the fuck up because he's going to file a federal lawsuit for him, too. And, and I'm, I'm not being rude. I just, you, you, you can mess up what I do. Okay, okay. You know, I'm... I'm there's a, there's I'm, a method. You just don't want to interrupt it. Yeah. Right. I've, it's taken years and years and years for me to learn the things I've learned. Not just about the law or just about policy or procedure or constitutional law or the, the, the federal civil rules or procedure but to understand the psychology and the way that they manipulate us exactly. so that they can say that you are disorderly or can say, if they say a word to you, just say, I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Just I'm here supporting this man and filming him. Hold on, do you want him to invoke his Fifth Amendment rights? Or do you want him to speak up and say he's there to film you? You know, you were a bit more clear when you just told him to shut the fuck up. I've been in here a couple times and they never go anywhere. I have to get an escort. You're gonna show me? Sure, and, and would you do you have a copy of the policy? Of the, the, the yeah. yeah. So this is not legal. You don't have to show your identification to go into a state funded building. Now they do have a right to check for security to make sure you're not carrying a weapon. But they, you don't have to show your identification to go into a state-funded building. Oh my god! You do realize that you're standing inside of a state-funded building without having to show your ID, right, Chili? And so I just want everybody to know that. How you doing? Yes, hi. Um, I have a guy down here that needs to file a complaint. Can I get him? Just... You can call me a good citizen. I can call him good citizen. Or you can call me constitutional scholar. Or you can call me guy who files lawsuits. Or you could call him Chili Con Carn Artist. Or you can call him the Great Grifter of Ohio. In his inner circle, he's known as the original taste tester of the Jock Sock. But if you really want to piss him off, just call him Sweetie. But, but just so you know, if, if, if that continues, what happens is I list you, Gene Olson, in the federal civil rights lawsuit. You are listed as a... As a against yeah. in the complaint well it's not yeah because you have to go to court 
No, and I mean, as I understand, but yeah. that's what I meant by yeah. Right, right, but, but, but you have to be, but, so you have to have a talk with them or your security company and say, hey, look, he just, you know, you, you can just go to delete laws on YouTube and look up the last three federal civil rights lawsuits I filed. Filing three federal lawsuits is easy, Chili. Winning three federal lawsuits is a whole different story. Exactly how many of those have you won? Hey, how you doing? Sorry. Oh, no, no. I'm Delete Laws on YouTube. Do you know who I am? I'm sure you do. Couldn't tell you. So, what's your name, sir? What's your name, Benjamin? Sergeant Bell. Okay, Sergeant. 2389. So, so who's, who's got the complaint they want to file? I do. Okay, so if you want to come with me. He, he's going to come with me. He's not going to come with me. If you want to file the complaint, you're the one filing the complaint. So, sir, if you want to come along with me. Okay. Yes. If you have a problem, if no. you have a complaint later, then I can talk to you. Okay. But you need to turn that off while we so what I do the interview. So, what I, uh, what I do that. specifically is I, I, I file federal civil rights lawsuits. Okay. That's I'm, fine. I'm a constitutional law scholar. Okay. So, the but, thing is, though, is you, you let, me, let me warn you here real quick so you understand something. Okay. I'm not Aaron Collins, and I'm not an auditor. You know, I really want to point out the hypocrisy of Sweetie DeCastro here. Because when he calls himself a constitutional scholar, I think we all can agree that that's a bunch of bullshit. But then he goes around and says, I'm not an auditor. Really, Chili. You're not an auditor. Then why the hell is the first word in your title of this video, hashtag audit? Okay. I'm for rule of law. I'm for constitutional law. I've read every single thing, including federal rules okay, of procedure. That's fine. So but the still, thing is, you can't record during our interviews. If you would like to make a public records request, then you can make a public records request. If you give it to me, you might, not, you might not give it to me. Then you guys have to decide how you no, guys you get the camera. you make a public records request for the audio of this interview. Are you, are, you, are, you, are you saying out loud right now to me that you're going to try to stop me yes, from recording? Yes, you can't record during our interviews. Because I why? record them. No, we record. record them. Right, and that's the policy. But I'm okay. a member of the press. Sure, you have the right to record your public officials from public spaces. And sure, you can call yourself a journalist. However, being a jackass with a camera phone does not make you a part of the press. Okay, but still, you, you can't. Okay. My First Amendment rights ended during interview. But you're being interviewed. No, no, as I'm, a, I'm not interviewing. I'm filing no. a complaint. Right, as, yeah, you're being interviewed as a complainant. Have you been sued before under Feb, on a, on a U.S. Code Section 42? And have you been oh. sued under a 241 and 242? I'm explaining to you is... You can explain to me, but, but I'll list you in a lawsuit. Well, that's fine. <laughs> and then you have to you're, hear it to that you're lawsuit. You're entitled to file any lawsuit that you'd like to. To the left, sir. I mean, I can only film myself if that's what you'd no, like, if you don't want to be on camera. yourself. Okay. Well, I can't. I can't even film myself. Is that no. what you just said? Yes. Once we get into the interview, um, you can't record. I will be doing an auto recording. And again, if you wish to obtain a copy well, of that auto recording, you can make a public record. Eighty-five percent of communications is nonverbal. Okay. So that means that you can do all kinds of things. And I have a tape to play for you. So okay. I'm, I want you to hear the tape so you understand right. that what's it, happened it'll here. It'll be auto recorded. Okay. Right. <sighs> You know, Once we get in there, you don't, you if you want to turn that off, you, you, you don't understand though. What, what will happen next okay. is I'll have to sue you. I'm sure those officers are really scared by the empty threats of Sweetie Sue's a lot. You, you as a person, you're to do that as a you'll be you'll be listed in the lawsuit. You want to have a seat right there, and then uh, before we get started, we'll make sure that the uh, no right here, sir. We'll make sure that you're not doing any kind of audio recording or video recording. Why can't I audio or video record? But that's not my rights. My rights don't Sir, stop with your policy. We, we, we are arguing about it. I'm redressing you now. I'm letting you know. You can follow up. You're going to get sued. You can do that. You know who I am. You know what I do. You're going to find out. You're going to find out. You can't violate my rights. You, you can't violate my rights. That's not how it works. And you don't get to define what are and are not your rights, Chili. That's not how that works. <laughs> <laughs> your rights don't end when you go into a cop shop. Your rights don't end because the cops don't want you to, to have an audio or video of the recording. That's not true. That what, what he's saying is fundamentally untrue. And now I have another cop here who I'd like to identify. What's your name, sir? Name and badge number? My name is Sergeant Combs. I'm going to ask you to stand up for me, please. For what? Because I'm going to ask you to leave the office. You're going to ask me to leave? For what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you to leave the office. Stand you, up. You're going to tell, you're gonna tell yes, me to leave? I I'm here to file a complaint. This way. Oh, are you forcing me to leave? You're, you're, I mean, I don't want. I don't want to get. I'm asking you to leave. If you don't leave, you will. Right. Then I'll be. Then I'm. Then I'm criminally trespassed. But, but what's your reason, sir? Sir. What's your reason? This way to the door, we'll, please. We'll explain. Can I get your name, badge number, just more time? Sergeant so Combs, ID twenty one fifty eight. This way to the door. I'm gonna sue you. Congratulations. That officer is a total fucking Chad. He ain't putting up with Chili's bullshit, and I don't fucking blame him. You're gonna get sued. Okay. So, so then who, who's gonna who's gonna take my this complaint the on the on the police? I'll address you down in the lobby. Okay. Let's just address me down in the lobby. I'll be right with you. Keep escorting him to the you got you got a nice you got a nice haircut, brother. Sir, would you like to 
I'm, I'm, I'm complying. I, I'm not a road runner here. I don't move that fast. I'm just asking you to come this way. So now I'm not allowed to file a complaint. Why we'll, did he just kick me out of the we, office? We'll explain everything once we get down there. Okay, okay explain it to me. Because I've, I, okay, he'll explain it to you, but it, everything will get explained to you, okay? Okay. So. What, what, what needs to be explained to me about my rights? It will be explained to you. I, I don't know why I need to repeat myself every time. But so just be patient with us. Be patient once with we, you. Once we get downstairs, it'll be explained to you. Have, okay? you, have you read the Mullen Commission? Do you know no. what internal affairs does? They, they do what this guy's doing. I mean, look what a tyrant this guy is. Look how, look okay. how, look how he's acting tough with me. You're yeah. not tough, dude. Let's go. You take off that badge and gun, you're a wussy. You're a total All wussy. Right, no, you are, dude. You're a total puss. You are. You're not acting tough because you've got a badge on, but the truth is, without that badge and gun, you would be afraid of me. You would be terrified of me. And we both know that. We both know this you're, you're a fucking coward. This way. You are a coward. What's your name again? You can call me Delete Laws. That's my YouTube page. You are a coward and you are an absolute wussy. You are a total wussy. You're pathetic, bro. Your parents should be embarrassed about you. No, you're disgusting. I'm walking, dude. What do you want me to sprint? No. I mean, look how tough this guy is. Take off the badge and gun. Let's see how tough you are, buddy. Let's see how tough you are. You're a star, brother. You're, you're going to be a YouTube star. You don't know who I am. You're going to find. Oh, yeah. I just got done watching your channel. Guess what I'm going to do? I've. I'm going to sue you. Congratulations. You're going to be listed in the federal civil rights lawsuit. the first time I've been sued. Congratulations. <laughs> you don't care because why? Because you have qualified immunity. I don't So nothing you. will happen. That's why. Now I'm going to play that for you one more time, just in case you missed it. Because when Chili asked that officer, why aren't you scared that I'm going to hit you with a federal civil rights lawsuit? The officer responded with, because I don't respect you. <laughs> you don't care because why? Because you have qualified immunity. I don't respect So nothing you. will happen. That's why. <laughs> Look at you. You're a piece of shit tyrant. I don't respect you at all. You're going to have to I hope you burn in hell. I hope you Why burn you in hell. You just because go fuck yourself. I can say anything I want. I'm just asking you. Go fuck yourself you. and go fuck yourself and fuck you and fuck you and fuck you. To get a certain response. No, I just want to let this guy know that he's an absolute bitch. I just want him to know. I just want you to know that. So, I'm, are you, am I going to get to file a complaint? Did you see what you guys did earlier when someone called a complaint? I'm going to let you know. This is obviously your building, okay? It's it's her building. Is that is her building? Wait, you're, you're a tenant here. This is a publicly funded building, isn't it? Yep. And our okay. office is our office. So I'm here to file you a complaint. You can record all you want to record down here, okay? Record to your heart. So do I get to file a complaint? That's then? their problem. Am I allowed to file a complaint? I'm trying to answer your question. Go ahead. You want to let me answer your question? Go ahead. Answer your question. I'm, I'm ready. Okay. You can file a complaint. I'm ready. You cannot record in our office. That's it. So I guess I'll file a complaint down here then? You're going to take my complaint? No, we don't take complaints down here. We take complaints up on our but office. But I don't lose my First Amendment because I go to your Have office. A good day. Wow. And that, my friends, is how you treat a dick flute with a delusion problem. You just tell them to have a nice day, turn your back on them, and walk away without showing them an ounce of respect. I'll see, I'll see you in court, but that's it. That's it. It's over. We have no further business with him, okay? Well, I can, not I can, up on I can stay here all I want. This is a, fe this is a, this, this this is a, a I can't be kicked out for just being here. I didn't, I'm not kicking you out. You can stay down here as long as she lets you, Do you stay Do you think down you're here. a good person? Do you think you're good? Do you think you're a good man? Do you respect yourself? When you wake up in the morning, do you look yourself in the, in the face and say, I'm a good guy, or do you think you're an absolute tyrant? What do you think of my videos? Do you like them? I'm the fastest growing channel on YouTube. Why is that? I'll tell you why that is, Chili. Because you're a self-deluded narcissist with a propensity for lying. If we pull up Chili's Social Blade stats, it shows that he's had about 2.5 thousand subs in the last 30 days. However, if we pull up my friend Law Talk with Mike's channel, he's grown over 12,000 subs in the past 30 days. So, Chili, you're not just not the fastest growing on YouTube, you're not even the fastest growing in our combined communities. But you are fucking an idiot. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. If you liked this video, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. But don't forget to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of my content. I'm Team Skeptic, and I'm out.